In the last episode, we built this, which has already made us a small fortune. However, there is a slight issue with this in that because there are lots of items landing on this bed, when it gets full, we lose a lot of frames. So today I thought we have two options. Either we improve this so that it produces bars and we can then just take them and sell them, or potentially, and this might not work, we can take all of these conveyors and run them all the way up along here and drop them off at the store so we don't need to do anything except press this little red button so let's try that we're going to need to pay for a lot more piping and also a lot more conveyors uh, and we'll see what happens so off to the shops with all our money and off we we're stuck we're already stuck okay really sometimes this game <laughs> this with us and just drop you in here and we have a flat tire first stop we're just gonna drop all of these off we also need a sorter because i can't be bringing these gems with us and with that sorted we're going to have to buy a lot of pipes and when i say a lot of pipes i mean a lot of pipes we still need at least double, maybe even triple this. So we might need to do some more mining as well. Now I know this <laughs> I know this doesn't look like much, but I promise you there is quite a bit in. It keeps falling out. Come on. There we go. Stay, stay, stay. Thank you. We're going to need loads of these. So I can't actually get out. So we're just going to have to go with this for now, but we're going to grab some more cash and then buy a load more and get them in that truck. Okay, we finally made it. So now it's time to grab all of this stuff. We're just going to dump it all. Looking at it, we have two ways that we can go. We can either go alongside the road or we can go up along the river. And I think if we can go up along the river, that's going to be best for us because we're probably still going to use this road. So there might be a slight issue with this plan in that I can't seem to play anything past that point. Nope. So we'll have to try via the road. This is looking a little bit more hopeful. I take that back. So we're going to have to go with automating this. Let's take everything out of the truck and then I'm going to look for some new miners because this, though I love it, isn't going to make us rich. Unfortunately, I don't see any new miners here, so we're going to try further along. And there's nothing here either. However, I am so down for this power and logic. Let's check it out. Looks like we found the place. I mean, I'm certainly very interested in playing around with all of these logic gates eventually. Nope, that's that's not a drill. OK, so there's still no drills, but there is TNT and a nuke. Maybe we'll get some of these later on. Bridgeport, we've got store. Okay. Burns Croft. We can check there over at our base. And ooh. Wait, what? Ice Helm? This looks new. A little bridge over here. Ooh, what is this? I'm seeing some buildables, but nothing else, unfortunately. Let's try in here. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, well, this looks pretty cool. Kind of want to go down there. That's a big anvil. We haven't even got one at our base yet. Tools and equipment. Okay. Well, this doesn't look very interesting. We've got... Where are the drills? What are these? Forged iron. Oh, wait. So, th is that 300 iron ingots? create an iron drill. Okay, we're going to need to create a processing plant at our base in order to get more of these. I can do that. So on the way back, I thought I'd quickly drop in here and see if we can pick up one of these splitters or maybe a couple, right? Because I thought this just split them in half. But actually, you place the item on top of here. And I know that because I've just been streaming it over on Twitch. Yes, join me on Twitch. <laughs> um, so we're going to grab a couple of these, I think. And if we're going to be making some iron ingots, we're going to need some smelters as well. So I think we need, what, three of these? Well, now that we've got everything back to the base, we're going to have to start tearing all of this out. So no time like the present. We're just going to drop all of these off. I know it doesn't look like much, but we're actually getting somewhere. So if we come up here, um, I need to convert to the left here. But we have a splitter, which is taking iron off to the right. Then we have gold, 
followed by Cloutium. And this is now going to take off rubies and sapphires. I wonder if we have to put every single type on here. And then finally, if we can grab, what's this? This will have our shards going off in this direction. Okay, so this is the moment. We're going to turn it on and see what happens. And the results. Yeah, <laughs> they're going everywhere, but where they need to. Uh, this is typical. <laughs> Ow! No, okay, we, we need to redo this. <laughs> it's coming along. It's looking more like a, a warehouse now, but <laughs> this, this is all the stuff from before. You can actually see it's actually... Hang on, that's not supposed to happen. I think I need to put sheets in, in the middle. <laughs> on you go. Much better. We now have 32,000. I think this should be enough to get us some new miners, which means this is going to become a very productive very soon. And I think we need to take this stuff down to the bottom, don't we? But for now, our important thing is with that to buy one of these, take this over to here. Right, we're going to place our iron ingots just over here, right? Oh, this is kind of cool. Ooh. Oof. That's blooming terrifying. And... Oh, would you look at that? Perfectly parked. <laughs> Every... This... <laughs> we crammed so much in there. Right, back to our little factory. So we've returned back with all our machines and I've just realized something. If we're not using this as a drive through anymore, why is everything being dropped from such huge heights? I mean, I've just made this more complicated than I needed to. What we're going to do now is hopefully dig down because the lower that you go, the higher grade pay dirt. Hey, I know mining terms. If we place these miners lower down, I'm hoping that we're going to be making more money. In fact, to make it easier for us, we might as well just dig out this big portion of land the other side of the river and then just bring everything across. So we do have a slight issue. I think this is the most we can dig at any one time. So I'm gonna be a while picking all of this. Actually, I take it back. I've got a better idea. Okay, we've got 14,000 and we're gonna spend it all on Ah, yes, dynamite. Uh, I don't even know if that's Spanish, but we're going to go with it. Dynamite. It's only 48, so we can get a lot more. Well, we, we've got a fair few here. Do you know it takes so long to get these? We've, uh, we've still got some money left, not that much, but I need to somehow get it. Note to self, don't throw the dynamite. I can't believe we have to take these one at a time. One. <laughs> this is gonna take a while to... Okay, I've got a feeling we're gonna be here a while. But don't worry, it'll be worth it, I'm sure. So I've spent all night placing these in this blooming cart. <laughs> we grab this, we're just going to pop that in with them. Okay. There's apparently a hole. I think, actually, I think we need a few more. Oh shoot, oh shoot. Ah, what? <laughs> no! <laughs> if I place these next to one another, like so, and then light one off, will it set them all off or do they just disappear? This will depend on what we do next. Okay, so here goes. Let's see what happens. Well, that was relatively successful. I'm really wishing there was a tip cart function because <laughs> it's taking so long. Okay, so <laughs> strip mining takes a lot of time. Uh, this is how many we've got. This is our very last one. So let's uh, see what happens. Oh. So that was hugely anticlimactic. But they do have logic TNT, which I think is going to be a little bit more explosive. Right, I bought some logic stuff. I'm really, I have no idea what we're doing. I bought a logic button, I assume. Ah, so if I stick this onto here and that put onto there and we click 
Oh, it destroyed the logic stuff. But, well, that's a much bigger hole, so I think we need to get some more of that. And here we are. We're slowly putting everything out. <laughs> It's a shame we have to individually place these, but it's gonna be worth it. This is taking so long. So this is almost ready. I'm actually getting quite excited now. Uh, you can see that we've actually got it all but hooked up right at the end. I'm just gonna do that once, well, for once it's ready because I don't want to accidentally do it. And I was thinking maybe now that we've got one layer, what if we grab a few more of these and we place them beneath because surely they will set them off right but you can't place them directly underneath so i was thinking maybe we could stagger them like this just burying these you can only see like a little bit of the stick sticking out you may say i've overdone it but uh, i'm intrigued to see how this goes but it's time <laughs> i'm kind of nervous i don't want to be too close i'm not should we should we move this stuff out of the way nah, it'll be fine it'll be fine um, don't you just love how it's a red button? You just you just want to press that red button. Okay, here goes. Uh, I should have. Okay, well, kind of works. To be honest, I think I would have probably have been finished earlier <laughs> had I just dug this all out. <laughs> Okay, I think this is the best that we're going to get it. So next, I'm, I can't get out. I'm going to need to get that magnet to remove all of this scrap. So this is the last of the miners for this. That can go lower. Uh, maybe we should put this on this end so it's actually got some dirt to uh, work from. I've encountered a problem. I cannot place these here. I can here. Oh, there I can, but not there. Hmm. So I've just set up the miners. We had to remove one, but I'm pretty happy with how it is currently. We're going to have them bring the items up and then I place this here and it says place a shard or power uh, or shard bar inside to increase the water pressure. So I presume we can actually take the shards and smelt them into bars, which I never knew. That's cool. So, this is either going to work terribly, or it's going to work great. There is going to be no in-between at this rate. Here we go. We do need some power cells. For now, let's just see if it works. If we... Ah! Ah! Sounds kind of scary, but at the same time, it seems to be working pretty efficiently. And it looks like it's all going pretty well. Oh, I'm quite chuffed at this. All of it's running nicely to the end. Okay, okay. We need to redesign this quickly. Um, we can bring some conveyors around the side, I guess. So we're one conveyor short at the moment. Thankfully, though, I still have some over here from earlier that we never used. So that saves me a bit of a track. I'm actually surprised at how much that can hold. We can like quadruple our build then with all of these. Look at all of these. Yes, this is what we'd like to see. Now I'm not gonna lie, that sounds good to me. One thing that I do want to do is just clean everything up and also add a smelter to the shard area so that we can create um, shard bars. Yes. This is bringing in the money. Also need to sort that out because <laughs> that's not good. I am so happy with how this is working, except for the fact that this keeps breaking. I am really happy with how this is performing. The only issue is that keeps breaking. So we do need to work out how we can fix that. That being said, we need to go and sell everything to see how much this thing has made. All right, it is time. Let's grab these. I need to sort that out. Hey, but look how big those chunks are. What about you? Have you got anything nice? You? <laughs> oh dear. Okay, let's take all of this. We really need to start taking them back with me. How much do we make? 428,856. That's not... Four... 4.2 million! <laughs> nice! Okay, well, there you are, guys. That was a, a nice little surprise. We will be back 
with another Let's Play soon. So if you did enjoy, please do drop a thumbs up. And obviously, if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks goes to all of our supporters, most notably our Solar Eclipse patrons, the Calamity Cerebral Tag, James Irwin, Jerry2, Podcac, and Firefless, as well as our Lunars, Dixie Chris, Lord of July, and Ben, as well as our Blood Moon, Chick Norris. Until next time, as always, ciao for now.